to hear from God. Um, but this is one man that I do. So would you stand at your feet and welcome uh, yeah. my good friend. So you're at your 50th year of celebration on, on your ministry. It's amazing the number of significant mile markers that are happening now because we passed the threshold of Israel becoming a nation for its uh, 70 years, you know, the 1947 to, to, to 2017, and here we are. Now we've crossed that mile marker, the 50th year for the recapturing of Jerusalem, the 70th year of the nation. And then when President Trump is going there and negotiating with this historic nuclear confrontation between Korea and the United States, North Korea. Uh, we are now heading the 70th year uh, anniversary for the formation of the Koreas, the South Korea and the North Korea. And what's curious about this is Taiwan. I'm going to Taiwan. They're in their 70th year formation. 70 is the number of nations. And it's the number in, in the prophetic realm that speaks of when nations come to a particular vintage point of maturity and establishment. And so Jesus said that we're supposed to consider the, uh, he said, you know, consider uh, the fig tree and, and as a sign of the last days. And we have the fig tree blossoming. We find Israel supernaturally flourishing. And then Jesus added, I remember it was Derek Prince that pointed this out, and all the trees. That refers to the rest of the garden. So you have Israel coming to its season of maturity, and you have the Gentile nations that are coming to the season of maturity. Now what Gentile nations would be coming at the time of the fig tree? It's all the young democracies that started in the early 1900s all the way through to the present day. All the democracies in the earth, the major a great majority of them, being formed and coming into its, uh, its maturity during the time that Israel becomes a nation. So we should be looking at nations. Now of course, our thinking about nations, and this is include, includes me for years, classical, Christian Pentecostal thinking about nations is that we go to the nations for a harvest. And we picture Reinhard Bonnke or Billy Graham or Benny Hinn or T.L. Osborne. And we see these swarms of people and these surging masses and then it's coming to the kingdom of God. And of course, our theology was when I grew up. Then we have all the end time anxiety, which is a great harvest of souls before the Antichrist rises, the beast system comes, you can't buy yourself. But we're getting out of here, so it's going to be fast. So, so soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. And, uh, and, and so we started looking at that radical uh, commitment to Jesus because the end time was coming. What 